Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Jamie. This reading could resonate if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Of course, it's a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone. We'll only take a reading that does discard any that do not. There is no gender in Tarot. If I pull a king or a queen, I could be talking about anyone. It'll be about the personality that I'm describing. <clears throat> All the information for private personals is in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments. So let me just take a look at the week ahead. Cancer for Monday. So we have romantic love affair. Obviously, I'm going to pull a love oracle on that. <laughs> what do you need to release? Oh, flip. Keep an open mind. There's something about Monday and you thinking that, like, whatever, you know, sex or gender you're attracted to here, kind of all being the same. I feel like you're not super optimistic about love and you need to release this idea that, you know, <laughs> I think, you know, love is a bad space or something like that, you know, at least in your life. Maybe you feel like you're bad at relationships or just at love in general. Something about this energy for Monday, please. <laughs> the Two of Cups. Five of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Swords. You know, I feel like on Monday, you're presented with a choice. I feel like somebody's telling you how they feel. It's interesting how they do it because it's like, I feel like they're like kind of competing for like your time or attention here. And I feel like you're like conflicted by this. And, and I feel like for a while now, like you've just been like working on yourself, keeping, it's like you're minding your business and this person comes out of nowhere. So I feel like you're going to be going back and forth about whether or not you should just keep at where you are or whether you should really move on and, and try to deal with somebody here. You're going to be forced to make a decision on Monday whether you want to get involved with a person or not. Could be a Virgo. What's the advice here? Oh, okay. Temperance, Sagittarius energy.
the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Cups. Again, letting go of something from the past. We have the heart font here. There's some type of pain that you endured like in, in previous relationships or in a previous relationship that has nothing to do with the person that's coming in towards you. And it's almost like these these past situations still have so much power over you that they could block you from really moving into this more tranquil, peaceful, committed relationship energy. So <clears throat> I think it's important to be aware of your thoughts and be more open-minded. You know, it's like you don't have to move at 100 miles an hour. You can kind of, you know, slowly move into a relationship here with the person you know but i feel like someone's offering you something really solid here and you're like meant to be with this person the two of cups and the hierophant but i do see someone like telling you how they feel this is this will happen on monday pretty exciting. Let's see what's going on Tuesday. Turn up Tuesday for Cancer. So we have making it rain, focus, getting money. So it's like Tuesday will be a good work day or you know, you'll be making some money that day. Sign up this energy for Tuesday. The two of wands. Okay. Six of cups. Temperance. Sure why I pulled that card, but there we have it. The <laughs> Knight of Wands <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like Tuesday you're making some future plans. It's like you, there's a goal that you set in the past and you, you're accomplishing it this week. So it's sort of like you know, everything is balancing out, and I feel like this is bringing you some like some more confidence you know so something that you've been working on for a while is really paying off here and I think you've been working your ass off but you see a lot of movement in it this week and because it's working out I think it's starting to balance out with it it's like you have the you know um ambition to take things further so I feel like you're really setting like goals on Tuesday on how to make something that you're you're doing here on your own by the way because this is the ten of pentacles so this is not you know necessarily attached to like anything else this is like you know your own dream goal or ambition here so i, I really see you like deciding where you need what what moves you need to make towards making that more stable or even just bringing in more money with it so what's the advice here Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is good because it's like in the past, it's already like whatever you, it's like when you sat down and you made plans that were really to look out for yourself in the future, you know, it's like you really looked at all your options, you really went it's like you already took in that you know how to manifest a certain way that like <clears throat> you're already aware that you know how to, to work something and move it in so now it's time to really take that next step forward so it's like really you know you have to think make sure that you think through all of your options 
here, you know? So I feel like, you know, Tuesday is like a day of like deep thinking on progression in some type of financial endeavor that you're in here. And it's like, tell, it's advising you to go ahead and kind of like daydream on this and like think big and all, and think about all of the options here to like really think things through. Some of you have definitely figured out the art of like manifestation here. So it's cool. Wednesday. We have wasting time, stuck, no changes, and limited. Talk about this energy. Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. The Chariot, Cancer energy. In the last spread, if I didn't mention, I had Aquarius and Sagittarius energy. But sure. So the Nine of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Cups. So I feel like there's somebody that's reaching out to you this week. So this is somebody that you literally have moved away from, though. You know, and I, and I feel like they're offering you something really small. And this is because you kind of have something new happening here. So I feel like you already moved away from this person and like really gained your independence. Nine of Pentacles style though, and it's like, but they left you, you know, I think messed up or like really emotionally devastated and they see you doing really well without them. They're about to come in and say something here. They want to come, I don't know, maybe pick you up, take you out. They want to tell you about some new like, you know, job offer that they got or some new financial opportunity that, that they got. There's like some way that they're going to try to like pull you in through a conversation and it'll be like really to kind of see where you're at. You know, it, it's not really about where they are. It's to see where you're at. What's the advice with this? Because I feel like this person has not actually changed. You know, it's like a, they just see that you have. <laughs> Two of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. I don't know. I feel like there's something about choosing yourself in this situation. I feel like this is someone that really deeply disappointed you before. And I feel like now you're like on the right track and the right path. And this person has the ability to derail you because they're not really making any changes. They have like, you know, limited abilities when it comes towards you. You'll notice there's not a lot of cups out here except these two cups, which are the ones standing behind this dude in the five of cups who's crying over these three cups, you know? Somebody regrets losing you, and you should let them this week. <clears throat> That's what's happening on Wednesday. Thursday, please. Love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming. Is this about Mr. Monday or Mrs. Monday? No, the Ten of Swords. So I feel like because this person's reaching back out, you may be sort of looking at this past pain 
that we were talking about before that was keeping you not so optimistic towards new love here. You may be reflecting back on like some things that have happened, yeah. It's like reflecting back and then pulled out the hermit. So looking back at some old pain or like trauma that you've been through in relationships here, the five of pentacles, the seven of swords, the knight of swords. <clears throat> I think it's more specifically because this person comes in, but it's like remembering back to the times where you felt like you weren't good enough or people made you feel like you weren't good enough. The deception within relationships, the impulsivity, there's like something about like the people that you've chose in the past that you're kind of looking at. But I feel like it's in an attempt to release it because this is still a 10. So something is definitely like, it's done, you know, the worst is over. What's the advice with this? The Emperor, Aries energy, the Six of Cups, the Six of Wands. It's like I said, it's to release it. It's like to take that power or control over your own life here, right? So like if we stay stuck on the things that have hurt us and we're afraid to get hurt again, then we really just stay in the pain. You know, we don't ever move forward from it. And it's like here, it's like I, I'm actually kind of in control with, with what happens to me. Like I think in the past, you're realizing that maybe you moved into relationships kind of impulsively. And you didn't really think before you got into them. You just like a person, so you just start dealing with them. And then later finding out who they really are and you know having these deep feelings of like unworthiness or not being enough you know or like the fear of abandonment something like that you know it's like really taking back some type of power or control over your life especially when it comes to romance you know believing that not everyone is out to hurt you that you also are in control of parts of the relationship and your own behaviors and them and things like that so it looks like thursday is like You know, obviously reflective of the energy the day before, you know, someone from the past returning and like stirring up these old emotions or feelings. <clears throat> but it's to release it and move on, you know, so sometimes you just have to sit with that. Threatening, intimidating, threatened, or bothered. What is this? The Knight of Swords. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords, at the bottom of the deck, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, I, I don't know. I feel like on Thursday, somebody's going to feel some type of way here, right? So there's like, someone has like moved into, so this is not you, you know, but I feel like someone has moved into something here and it's kind of like they're looking for a relationship or something, but I think that they didn't get that. And I feel like you've given this person advice to like move away from someone and they actually felt some type of way about this advice. And I feel like on Thursday, they're kind of coming to you to, to kind of talk to you more about what's happening. Because I think that they, like, there's something here where, like, maybe you spoke truth to someone that they didn't want to see. You know, like, they were in this Ace of Wands, Hierophant thing where, <clears throat> you know,
you know, it was like the beginning stages of like, uh, to me, it's like a relationship. To me, this seems like a friend, something like that, like someone that you care deeply for. And I feel like you tried to advise them that someone really was after the Ace of Wands, you know, and to kind of like move away from that energy and maybe like talk to or deal with someone else. <clears throat> this person actually, I think, did not heed that advice, which was okay with you. You can see that here, where it's like you didn't expect that at all. You've been through this type of thing before. But I think that they were bothered by this advice for a minute. And they may actually tell you that it hurt them, but you're okay with that because you already know how this works, you know? So I feel like this person's coming in to have like a deeper conversation about this. Now they kind of feel like they can trust you with this because you were right. What's the advice? Three of Swords, the Moon, the World. Yeah, I feel like this person's kind of been quiet about the fact that they're separating themselves from someone, but they, I think at first, like, they didn't want to take your advice, but it's like something that you said to them, like, they just could not get rid of. Like it just kept, it's like they, they really figured it out now and they're about to go through this process of trying to close out the cycle. So I feel like this is somebody coming to you, what was this on Friday? And they really do need some help. I feel like this person's not very good at breakups, you know, and they almost are like regretful for not like heeding your advice, but they, they even were like, I think, resentful towards you for a minute or something. I feel like they're going to talk to you about this, but... I feel like this person really does need help. Like they're not good at breakups at all. And it's, I think weighing really heavy on them right now. And they're probably going through some other stuff too, you know? So I think Friday you have to be a good friend despite how someone may have reacted to something before, you know? Tell me about Saturday, but I can't tell you. I just need one card, guys. What the heck was that? Reflecting. swords the seven of cups so i feel like despite the fact that like there's a lot going on this week and there's people coming back around in your life and you have to give advice to people and stuff you're kind of in this really good balance this week where you're actually deciding what you want and it's not just from this queen of swords where it's this practical logical sense it's also from this queen of wands my passions my desires what i really want in this life and i feel like thinking about how to make all of these things a reality, how to fit them all in. Now, it may be kind of hard or maybe some general confusion about where to really prioritize energy, but I feel like you're about to hit almost like this selfish era. <clears throat> not Obviously not super selfish, but very self-focused here. There could be somebody here that helps you with this, like they could have really good advice, really good boundaries, you know, they kind of match your energy in their own way. They're opposites from you, but they're kind of like the part of yourself that you feel like you're missing. Just like that very like practical, sharp, you know, um, blunt to the point type of energy. <clears throat> I feel like there's a lot of like calmness and stillness in, on this day, on Saturday, where you're really like thinking about like all the things that you really do plan to do and how to achieve those goals. It's not like, um, 
delusional thinking or something, you know, it's real time planning. What's the advice? The Empress, Libra Taurus energy, the Nine of Wands, the Tower. So you need to remember that you made it this far. If you could make it out of what you made it out of, you can make it through anything. You can get anywhere. There's something about like your energy here where I feel like you just don't feel like being in a negative energy anymore. You're tired of chaos and drama and strife. Like, you know, it's, um, and a lot of it is really the energy that you think you've been in. Maybe it's like, you know, balancing out that Queen of Swords with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's something new about the energy here where you're more like nurturing and grounded and you, I think feel just better about life and now you can make serious goals but like I think it's saying too to sort of like be careful how you think and how you move because you really are manifesting here so you know it's <clears throat> in order to get what you want you have to figure out what that is <laughs> and be real serious about it and I feel like you're really doing that this week, despite everything else that's going on, there's a lot of action and thought happening this week. And it's really future-oriented, which is cool. I hope I didn't forget a day. I feel like I may have, but whatever. <laughs> Let's go with Sunday. Queen rising or king, it doesn't matter. Stepping into power, praise coming up, spotlight. <clears throat> Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Temperance. So I think after a long, hard week of planning, dealing with other people's things and handling your own responsibilities, on Sunday, <clears throat> you'll finally see it like <laughs> where you need to place your time and energy. And, and I also feel like, you know, Sunday, something really good is kind of happening at the workplace, I feel like. I feel like uh, there's like a lot of generous people uh, <clears throat> around you like there's something happening that will help you financially whether it's giving more hours or there's like you know if you work like a like a tip job or something people are just like super generous but I feel like there may also be like an opportunity to make more money on Sunday and this is being well it's being presented to you on Sunday <clears throat> but it completely surrounds how hard you're willing to work. So I feel like there's literally a, a spotlight being shown on your abilities at work here on Sunday. So what's the advice? <laughs> the Emperor again. Got Six of Cups again, but the Ace of Wands. You know, this might actually be happening with everything. There's like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of you guys are coming out of this like more miserable, maybe depressive state in life or something where like you weren't that optimistic. There's like new things happening. I think that there's new friendships that are like deep where you're really connecting with people and able to help them out in life. I feel like you're stepping back into your power. You're not giving it over to anyone. You no longer blame anybody for any of your problems. You really thinking about how to get ahead in life, what it is that you need to do to make more money, to have more time to do the things that you love. I don't know, I just feel like it's it's a really good week. It doesn't, I mean, despite like, you know, some ex coming around or something, like outside of that, it seems like a week of people really like seeing you for who you are at work as a friend, you know, and a romantic offer coming in on Monday, somebody seeing you who, who you really are in that situation as well. 
I feel like it's a week of really releasing the past. And that was like one of the first cards that popped out. It was like, what do you need to release? <clears throat> And I feel like it's giving power over to past situations, you know, and that's what you're doing this week. All right, bye.